Okay, okay padaliin naman natin sa exponential equation. So, kung sa function, meron tayong f of x. Shhh, oh, makinig na dito. Dito naman sa equation, dapat yung nasa left side na expression ay equal sa nasa right side ng expression. So, we need to manipulate. Now, in manipulating, dapat parehas tayo ng base. For example, we have b raised to 2 is equal to b raised to x. Ang target natin palagi, parehas yung base natin. If parehas na yung base, i-equate na lang natin yung ating exponent. So, this is equal to 2 is equal to Ganun lang. Okay. Sir, paano pag-given na ito? 64 is equal to 8 raised to x minus 2. Check nyo muna, alin ang mas maliit? 64 or 8? 8. Therefore, pag nag-terminal natin, copy 8, x minus 2. Now, ano yung magiging base natin? Dapat 8 din yung base natin. So, 8. Oh. Papalitin natin siya. Ano nga yung magiging exponent niya para maging 64? 2. Bakit 2? Kasi 8 times 8 is 64. Okay? So that would mean that. Okay. Since dahil parehas na to, equate na natin. So 2 is equal to x minus 2. Ano value ni x ngayon? Lipat yung isa. Lipat natin to sa kapila. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, x is equal to 4. Okay. Siya na yung value. Sir, paano mo nalaman? Uh, we can do checking. Pag chinect natin, 64 is equal to 8. Palitan si x. 4 minus 2. 64 is equal to 8. 4 minus 2. 64 is equal to 64. Sir, sa exam ko yun check. Not necessarily. Pero, chine-check natin para may confidence tayo na tama ba talaga yung sagot natin. Pero not necessarily naman na i-check. Ano yung question? Sir, it is very... It is a very simple question. Sir, bakit naging 2? G-divide? Saan? Ito po. Ito? Ano na ko? Ito? Pala na ko yung 2. Sa exponent? Easy pa lang naman. Ito? Yeah. Just copy 2. Ito na ko yung equal to. Ito na ko yung equal to. I'm just clarifying things so that I can understand and decode the information. Ito na ko yung equal to. Ito na ko yung equal to. Hindi, hindi ka mag-try yung error. Ang technique lagi natin, dapat base ang titignan natin. Since mas maliit si A dito, copyin mo na. Then i-manipulate mo na yung nasa left side, dapat 8 din yung base ko. 8 din. Okay? Para mas maklaro, 3 raised to 2x is equal to 81. Ano mas maliit? 3 or 81? 3! So, kapihin natin si 3 raised to 2x. Now, si 81, dapat ang base natin sa kanya ay 3. 3, dapat pa rin kasi. Now, anong i-raise natin? 4. Sir, paano mo malalaman? Dapat pag nag 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 times 3, 81. 81. So, dapat naka-ratio sa... Mag-iisip ka lang. Kailangan mo gamitin lang. Kailangan mo yung kalawakin na yun. Gets nyo? Sir, paano pag 3 nilagay ko? Siyempre, hindi siya balas ngayon. Kasi 3 times 3, times 3, 27 lang. Cool lang. Kinapos ka. So, same base na... Equate natin yung exponent. So, 2x is equal to 4. Divide by 2. X is equal to 2. Ay, okay sa exponent ka lang. Mali? Alam ko ano lang ito. Kasi sa... Yung exponent to x, pinopya mo lang. Tapos divide. Exponent to exponent. Pag kailangan lang natin x, so we need to divide by 2. 
Mr. Copy, it's okay ka lang dyan. Mr. Who? Kaya? <coughs> now, number three is very tricky. Checking. Checking? Gusto nyo i-check? So, three raised to the two times two is equal to eighteen. So, three, two times two, four. Three times three times three times three. Yes! How about this one? Paano ito? Bababa din. Bababa ba sir? Paano ito? Negative yung ano sir eh. Possible ba ba? Possible ba yan? So di ba kapag 2 raised to negative 1, binababa natin. That is 1 over 2 raised to positive 1 na siya. Or simply ganyan lang. So meaning, we can do re reverse. For example, 1 fifth. Pag gusto natin itaas to, magiging 5 raised to negative 1. Pag itinaas naman natin, nagiging negative siya. So, pwede natin gawin si 2 magiging raised to negative 1 na siya. Okay? And naka-exponent to, so copyin pa din natin exponent. Yes? Z equal to 16 raised to negative. Okay. Now, 2 and 16. Ano mas maliit? 2. Tama? Yes. So, copy na natin si 2. Tapos, sige, copyin muna natin yung exponent niya. Now, ito, 2. Anong i-raise natin kay 2 para maging 16? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, siya ay 2 times 2. Tapos, copyin din natin si negative. Okay, tapos na yung mga... <laughs> okay, para sa may base? Yes. Yes. So para sa yung base, negative 1 x plus 2 is equal to 4 times negative x. Gets yun? Yes. So distribute na natin to remove the parentheses. Negative, negative x minus 2 is equal to negative 4 x. Solve for x. Lipat natin. So, negative x plus 4x is equal to 2. Positive 2. Negative x plus 4x? 3x. Is equal to 2. Divide by 3, both sides, 2 thirds. X is 2 thirds. Ayun lang. Kaya pa ba guys? Very close. Okay, tapat natin, tapat natin. Ikaw lang, Gabi. 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 